You've got a Logitech G27 steering wheel and you want to know the best force feedback settings in BeamNG. Well, hopefully this tutorial can help. First off, you'll need to download a piece of software called Logitech Profiler, but it's a very specific version. I've left a safe Logitech derived download link in the description and it's just for the 64-bit version of Windows, although of course BeamNG doesn't even work on 32-bit versions of Windows anymore. Once you've opened it, you might not see your wheel straight away. If that happens and it shows a completely different uh, steering wheel on the screen, just make sure you unplug it, plug it back in, restart the software, or a simpler option would just be to restart your PC with your wheel connected to your USB port. But you have to have this installed and running for your G27 to work properly. Now go to Options, Global Device Settings, and we've got this screen here. Now first of all, degrees of rotation should be set to 900. Uncheck allow game to adjust settings and uncheck report combined pedals. Now this is an important one. Uncheck enable centering spring in force feedback games. I reckon if your force feedback isn't working properly in BeamNG or just feels terrible, this will be your problem. By unchecking this, basically what you do is you let BeamNG decide the amount of force feedback to give. This is just for games that don't have force feedback as standard. Finally, leave spring effect and damper effect to 100% and then overall effect strength, leave it at about 100%. But if it's not strong enough, the wheel doesn't feel strong enough, turn it up to maximum about 110. And if the wheel's too strong for you, turn it down to about 90 as a minimum. Between 90 and 110, the wheel feels fine. Any more or less, it just doesn't feel that realistic. And that's it. You don't need to adjust anything in here. Just close it and it'll be running in the background. So now we're in BeamNG and we're on the main menu and I'm going to show you the options you need to change to make your G27 force feedback work perfectly. So go to options, then go to controls, and then to the force feedback tab. Now you should see the X axis configuration here. This is basically your wheel. So on this tab here, you need to select filter wheel direct. I can't actually select that, but it should be wheel direct if you can select it. Now one to one steering angle, you need to set to 880. Let me explain. This wheel is classed as a 900 degree wheel. That means you can go all the way from here Whoa, all the way to the left there, 900 degrees, but it's not. We see at the very edges, there's a little stop gap and that is as far as I can go on the force feedback. But if I push it further, look, that's 900. So the wheel only registers up to about here and then you've got about 10 degrees on either side, which means 880 if you want that true one-to-one -one experience where your wheel be replicated exactly in the game. Make sure inverted axis is off linear to one, dead zones on zero. Then make sure you've got enabled and inverted checked. Here we go. Strength, I would recommend somewhere between 250 and 300. I've got it to 280, that's personally what I use. Steering lock strength, set it to zero. Side acceleration strength to 10%. Now, if you don't really like drifting or racing, maybe turn that to zero, but I find 10% is really good because you can feel when the car is oversteering. It helps you to drift it helps you to catch slides when you're racing. Then reduce strength while parked, turn that on. That makes it much easier to turn the wheel when you're you know, not moving the car. And because tire wear isn't a thing in BeamNG, you can just turn the wheel freely as you're parked. Now use Logitech features. Even though it feels like you should turn that on, make sure it's off because it's something called True Force technology, which is only available with the very latest uh, Logitech wheels. You want that off for the G27. It's not technology that's usable in this. Smoothing to 150, that just makes things feel a little less jittery, um, makes things feel smoother and also automatic secondary smoothing. Don't bother adjusting the slider, just turn it on. I don't think this makes much difference. Just leave the game to do its thing. Update rate limit, automatic and update type fast. If you have it on full, sometimes the PC can't catch up and it'll feel very weird. So just leave it to fast. That doesn't dedicate too many PC resources to the wheel and makes it basically a more stable experience with the force feedback. Then use response correction curve. I would put it on just because that's what everyone seems to recommend. Then over here in the gameplay tab, make sure you've got all of these assists off. You don't need these assists on if you want a realistic experience. Some of them are perhaps easier for drifting like limit steering at high speed. I'm not going to show you all the different control mapping because they're already bound by default. But if you want to adjust, for example, the dead zone for your brake or the accelerator, it's the same process. Go to uh, the bindings, brake, and then RZ axis. You can adjust the dead zone on rest 
here. I've got it at 0.04 because basically when I'm not touching the pedal, it'll slightly be touching for some reason. That's just a quite common thing on old wheels and old pedals like this. And here we are in the game and with those settings, yep, driving around it feels really good. It does provide a little bit of resistance and then when we get, whoa, look at that. When we drift, it does um, move the other way so you can catch the drift very, very easily and ooh, makes it quite nice to handle. Look at this, whoa, and when you crash, it also bumps around pretty nicely. But if it is too strong, just turn down the strength, maybe to 250. You could even go lower, but I think 250 to 300 is a good amount. Also, with vehicles like the new Aurata, it will map the wheel one-to-one -one with the steering angle this car has. As you can see, it's only got about, I think, 300 degrees steering, which is okay, but the Logitech G27 does work with this game well enough to map it automatically. And that's it. Your Logitech G27 steering wheel is set up for use in BeamNG. Hope those force feedback settings help, and if you have any thoughts or comments, maybe you can leave them in the comments down below to help others. If you'd like to see me do more tutorials, maybe let me know in the comments, and come and say hello on my Discord server. There's a link to that in the description below. But if you'd like to see my latest BeamNG video, where I use a G27, in fact, I use a G27 in most of my videos, then click the video on screen right now. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.